because of the mystery machine. Hey, it's the Bricks are. And they won't be Bricks. And here we are, looking at a Lego set. What do we got here? We got the City Square. Oh yeah. It's called City Square. Set six zero zero nine seven. Has one thousand six hundred eighty three pieces. You know how much this thing retails for? How much? One hundred and ninety dollars. Does that sound like a lot? No. Sounds like a lot to me. <laughs> but you get a lot with this set. It's pretty cool. I'm sitting here looking at the box. I think looking at the box, I see more details than I do actually looking at it. I'm the one who built it. Yeah, so you're our expert on this. You built every single detail on this. I built nothing. I actually didn't know what some of the things were. So, let's get the box out of the way. A lot of pieces, a lot of minifigures. Um, I like the Lego store in it. What was your favorite part of this My set? My favorite part was the Lego store. I mean, really? I think that's everyone's favorite, the reason why they got the set. And I really like the, the, the public transport mm -hmm. station. Okay, so I did put the station nowhere near the public transport. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the train. It cause they went along because the one the city square type set before this, they had another train. Did we do a review of the other one? You did, I think. Okay. I can't remember. So I do remember us having this other one. We don't have it out to compare them side by side. We might do that later. We got a train in Atlanta that looks very similar to that, except it's blue. I think it was specifically designed to cause traffic jams. It's right in the middle of the road, and nobody needs to ride it. So, it's neat. It's got uh, a lot of seats in this one. Does this one have more seats than the other one, or about the same? It has way more seats. That's what I was thinking. That was the first thing I noticed. I was like, wow, they put a lot of chairs on it. Of course, all the chairs are in this train, and none are in the cars. It's like they don't put those little minifigure seats in the cars anymore. So that one doesn't have them. It's got a place to put your bicycle, and it has these... Uh, pentagraphs or whatever they call them. I wonder, if, I wonder if someone's ever made an actual Lego train that's powered by those. I bet you somebody has, um, but you'd have to make your own custom contacts mm -hmm. to pick up the electricity. I would think, but uh, that that's. I know there's model trains that are made like that, where you actually get the power from the above, the uh, the wire in the air. So, let's talk about. We'll save the Lego store for last. Uh, so you do have the train station. It's got a big tree, a kind of a brick-built tree. This also counts as a bus station. It's a bus station slash train station. It's got a nice little um, minifigure there. Looks familiar. Yeah. What I mainly want to do is like get like the train stations are this size and rebuild them to where they're bigger and better. Yeah, this tends to be what everybody's aspect, like the coffee chain shop here. I like, actually, that's one of my favorite parts mm -hmm. of this set, too. Actually, I got three things I really love about this set. The Lego store, the coffee shop, and the truck for the Lego store. But, um, I like this. Got the little, uh, blender. Yeah, the, uh, Vitamix. Blender. The Vitamix, yeah. And, uh, so it's, and it's, uh, it's tiny, and they fit that all that in there, so that's pretty good. And I like the minifigure. It kind of goes with the one from the Lego movie, right? Mm-hmm. All right, and then the garage, in the, it's like a car shop in a garage, and it's got a wrecker. That's kind of a junior build almost to me, would, would you say? Kind of, yeah. It's just plain. It's very plain. It's because the inside, you got the showroom uh, to display the cars. It's got the working, how does that thing work? Can oh, work? Uh, you flip this down, and then it lifts the car. Can up. you catapult the car into the air? <laughs> no. No. And it's got the sliding door, which could prove hazardous. If you open the showroom doors and somebody's coming in to pay their bill for their car repair, they could get smashed. Mm -hmm. Safety hazard. And actually, when we were setting this up, I should have had the cameras rolling because I did break a few things. I broke a piece off the Lego store in the back. I broke uh, the door on the train because I didn't know how to open it. And what else did I break? I can't remember. I don't know. Oh, the pizza guy, the pizza delivery guy. It's not right. Pepper, but it's. I like how they staged it where it looks like the pizza's about to fall off of the, the bike. But I, I really do like, they still bring, like, references to Lego Island and Pepper. Like what? I mean, with that? They had a younger version of Pepper on a skateboard holding a pizza with the same face that they used in the uh, Island Extreme Stunts oh, okay. figure. 
you remember stuff like that. Now they got the uh, hot dog stand. Didn't we get a, a poly bag that we never built that was a hot dog cart? <laughs> Need to build that. What are you going to do today? I don't know. Or was that the balloon, balloon. cart? <laughs> All right. And let's see. So that so we've done the, the repair shop. And it comes with another wrecker. There seems to be a lot of things breaking down in the Lego world, so we're getting a lot of wreckers. They have the little tire holders. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's like the only detail on the inside of the showroom. So coffee shop. Let's go to the... So we did... Oh, <laughs> next to the coffee shop, there's this little newsstand. I thought it was a chair. But my favorite part is the A-Team van that came with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was kind of a throwback to 70s style building. We have the um, van that no minifigure could possibly fit in, but they do capture the essence that, of the A-Team van. They had a very horrible quality pieces in this, in that too. Well, they had to, you know, they're they're making it vintage, yeah. you know. That's, that's why it's like that. They even gave you pieces with bite marks on it and stuff. Just kind of... <laughs> Make it remind you of what it was like to be a kid in the yeah. early 70s. Biting so. cars was like your thing, wasn't it? Well, they didn't have a brick separator. So the, oh, yeah. the first original brick separator was your teeth. Not your fingernails? Why don't you use your fingernails? Because <laughs> sometimes you can't get your fingernail in there. But if you hold a piece, if you're trying to get two pieces apart and you can't get your fingernail, you hold one piece with your hand and you bite it. I used to think that was from apart. a dog. Like whenever we buy something from eBay, I thought it was from a dog. No, those were human bite marks. But there was bite marks on look, There was a, no brick separator. There was a road piece, and in the middle of the road that's all flat, there's a bite mark on it. Well, that could be a dog yeah. something like that. But usually the nicks on the bricks that <laughs> nicks on the bricks. Hey, check out Nick Bricks live streams every Saturday. <laughs> um, yeah, that is usually t teeth mark. That, I get, that's what I did as a kid. And I, and I, if I did it, I know other people did because sometimes you just couldn't separate a piece. Either that or get a butter knife um, to separate them. So we, were, we just didn't have any way of doing that. All right, let's get to the Lego store and the truck. I, I collect the yellow trucks that lego has made over the last 50 years they and are a really big one yeah this one's kind of like the short bus for mm -hmm. lego <laughs> yellow <truck. laughs> it's shorter than the other one did you see the <laughs> well it is oh my god you don't think oh no this one's it's just the same as the last one. It's like the last one was like three times as long as this one. But, you know. Why is that funny? Because you're laughing. <laughs> it is. And we have um, two, Lego two Lego store employees. I really, really like their I recognize store. one of them. It's uh, Scott. He used to work at my Lego store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's in our lug. I mean, is that, we're always joking because it's like... It looks just like Scott. The other one's a wolf. <laughs> it does. It looks like Scott <laughs> from our lug. Uh, I mean, it does. It's about, does he, still, I would, work, does he get, still work at the Lego store? No, he doesn't oh, work yeah. there anymore. Um, but, yeah, I, 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 I would ask him before I put a picture. If I'd like to put a picture of this employee and Scott. If I, I wish I had a picture of him when he actually worked at the store. <laughs> if you want to see a picture of Scott, he's actually in old issue of Brick Journal. I'll go try to find that. Um, but Scott, he used to work at our Lego store. It's actually the one there near where the Brick Show is. Alright, so look at this. The Lego store has an air conditioning unit on the top <laughs> of it. Is that what... They, yeah, uh, they, they make this building special <laughs> compared to the other ones. It's got air conditioning. <laughs> and it's got the pick a brick wall. It's got the rare 2x4 red brick. It's got a white statue. It's got a bunch of sets. Yeah. And a cash register. And then it's got your throwback uh, figures. Oh, well, I mean, I, I'm so glad they had the... Is that a Futuron sipping green? Is that, or which ones? We had that... S the zipper. The zipper across the head. Yeah, I know you already saw what it looks we like. We had a yellow one, a blue one, and a red one, I think. And we got a green one. And then, of course... Was it the black one? There might have been a black one, too. Yeah. I can't remember... But the castle, I kind of would have liked to seen some castle figures, maybe from the 90s instead yeah. of this. This is like more, not even that old, I don't think. It might be from the late 90s. Well, the helmet piece. 
Yeah, it is a throwback helmet. That is true. And the sword. Yeah. And so, and then we got the TV copter on top, and I guess he's trying to see if that other employee's trying to steal the, mm -hmm. the Lego with his uh, wolf. Oh, and they got the picket brick wall, too. Yeah. It's got a bunch of round one by one bricks. They for also sale. got that Plates. little part where the bags would be. That's the part that I broke. Oh, and I almost forgot the <coughs> most important part the little kid with his <coughs> European handbag. Oh, yeah. He's got a European handbag. <laughs> or is that supposed to be an actual Lego I think that's bag? That's a Lego bag. A Lego bag. So, overall, I was hesitant to get this set. I didn't really want to buy it because of the sticker price, so I had actually saved up a bunch of my VIP points. My VIP points, and that's what I used to get a reduced sticker shock on it. At least you didn't have to pay for the Mystery Machine set. Yeah. <laughs> Check out They Might Be Bricks review of the Mystery Machine. <laughs> So, do you like this set? It's very expensive, but man, it's got a lot of details to it. I think it's worth it. A lot of minifigures. If the price was a little bit lower. Yeah. Are <laughs> we, did I even mention the guy flying the helicopter? So, how many minifigures were there? Oh, we didn't even mention Bricks for Chris. Works at the... Oh, yeah. yeah like, we always forget that. And he and he built that car, the signature figs car. Oh, yeah. yeah and, so, that's perfect. It's, of course, Chris does everything, but... He's in almost every set now. He was a farmer on a train. <laughs> now he's in the car dealership. Yeah, so pretty cool. So we got two cool people in this one. Bricks for Chris and Scott from our lug. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Do you like it? I hope you do. I hope you like this video. And we'll be doing more reviews. I have some things though that came up that we want to discuss those will be coming up in upcoming videos if you're watching this in the year 2018 that's too late we've already talked about it but um anyway we'll be doing that and hope you enjoyed this be sure to subscribe check out they might be breaks we'll be sure and put a link to his channel in the description and maybe a card what if like someone in like 2020 is watching my video I don't know. I, I had a uh, one of my early videos that I just got a comment on today. It's from early in 2013. And the information is kind of outdated, and they were, like, complaining because... <laughs> like, I'm like, well, I, you know, it was two years ago. <laughs> I hate when people be like, how come we're not doing the contest? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I like the when I did the uh, Lego movie where I showed all 13 of the original, the first 13 sets, and they're like... You forgot Benny's spaceship. I get that comment like every few months. Somebody's like, you forgot Benny's spaceship. I'm like, it didn't exist when I made the video. <laughs> what existed but was in a set. Yeah. It's like if we were doing this video and they made another set that kind of went with it. And somebody's like, why didn't you show the other set with it? I'm like, I hadn't made it yet. It was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Or like, why didn't you compare it to the uh, new city square? Brick, Bricks or Chris doesn't just work here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that kind of stuff. Scott doesn't work at the Lego store anymore. There's other employees besides Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so thanks for watching again, and we'll catch you in the next video. It's Bricks are And then I'll be Bricks. The mystery machine. <laughs> no, no. I no, know. you can't. You do it. What? It's like, oh, and my my favorite set because it has a mystery machine in it. Because that's a mystery machine. <laughs> <laughs> you had to wait to the end to get the BBI there. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See ya. Leanne, did you need something? What'd you need? Huh? Paint? Why do you need paint? Did you get it? <laughs> what paint are you using? Where'd you get it? Okay. All right. <laughs>